Welcome back. We're live from Washington, D.C., celebrating 500 episodes of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen and digging into some of the tough policy issues facing the beef cattle industry. Let's talk cattle markets. Craig Uden joins us again, along with Sarah Calhoun, Manager of Government Affairs for NCBA. Craig, I want to start with you. As a cattle feeder and cow-calf producer, both, tell folks what kind of impact these volatile markets have had on your own business. You know, the last 18 months have not been very kind to the cattle feeder, and I'm no exception there. And uh, now that I got, you know, I got a sizable cow-calf operation, uh, this price decline is sure offset uh, a lot of profitability there, and it's went down a lot faster than our fixed costs have went down. So I understand the pain that's out there in the country because it's it's a pretty dynamic move. Uh, I do not think that the industry was aware how how fast and how efficient our production model was and how we put a lot of beef back on the table. Our increasing numbers have presented some challenges, but we're addressing those things as we go. And, and other proteins as well. I read that yeah. the hog business has increased its sow numbers, 136,000, just the top 35 um, hog producers. So it, it's protein in general, isn't it? Right. You know, we're looking at a 7 to 9 percent increase in protein on all proteins domestically consumed mm -hmm. since 2014. So it is a big issue out there, and there's a lot of hurdles. But, uh, you know, the market went up really fast and went down, it seems like, even faster. Yeah, okay. And we, we feel it really out in the country. So, Sarah, uh, tell me this. How has NCBA been engaged in addressing this price volatility? Well, we have put together a working group with the CME. It's producer-led, and we have been identifying key objectives and um, concerns we have so we can ensure that the futures are a viable risk management tool for our industry. And, Craig, I know you're the chairman of that producer-led uh, NCBA CME working group. Give folks a little background on what that group's about and what steps you've taken thus far. Well, you know, a year ago, or coming a year ago, last convention, the uh, live cattle marketing was, was charged with going out and seeing what was going on as a risk tool management uh, tool. CME wasn't, wasn't working for them. So we went out and as we put that together and went around and tried to address all these issues, we we found there was many issues. So we broke it down into three parts. We engaged with more of our industry partners, more producers throughout the United States, and we put three plans together, one addressing volatility, one addressing uh, contract specs, and one addressing price discovery. So now we've been able to focus on those three categories and really dive in, and, and uh, we're actually getting somewhere. We've got a great relationship now with the CME. We've We've met with the CME and the CFTC in D.C. and had a, a really good meeting that uh, everybody understands a little more what the issue is. So I'm curious, I mean, what are the next steps? And can you give us any insight into maybe some of the possible solutions that you all might be considering? Well, um, CME suggested we needed more negotiated trade. So we've implemented some different, we've, we've had meetings out in the country and people are negotiating trade more. Uh, Currently, the amount of cattle that are being negotiated or cash traded out there are the same levels as 2013, so we've stopped that, uh, that, that from moving any farther. Uh, we're going to submit a letter to the CME about uh, our opposition currently to uh, cash settlement, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to stay engaged with these folks all the way through. And, and uh, I know Sarah's got one final point that she would like to yeah. make. Yeah, Sarah, what do you have to add? Well, I just think that everybody needs to do their part in the stewardship of this industry to contribute to negotiated trade. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're using a formula, you're using, you know, a base price somewhere, and I think that it's really important that we have that organic um, cash dis or price discovery. It's everybody's responsibility. Absolutely. Great perspective, guys. What you're doing is so critically important to the pocketbook and ultimately the sustainability of so many operations across the country. Thank you and good luck uh, on the months ahead. Thank you.